What's up guys, Ian Sandusky back here from Let's Machine, back here again on Practical Machinist. Today we're gonna to be going through how to use an edge finder inside a CNC machine, or a CNC mill I guess, and how to use that to pick up your zeros. Okay, let's get into it. So first and foremost, first thing we're gonna to need to use an edge finder is an edge finder. Um, this is a pretty run of the mill off the shelf. I believe it's a steroid edge finder. Uh, it has a 200 thou tip on the bottom and a 3 8 shank. This is pretty much your standard edge finder. I mean, when I buy edge finders, this is what they send me unless I ask for something specific, you know, with a larger shank or something like that. But 90% of the time, the edge finder you're going to be using is going to be one of these. Again, 200 thou shank, uh, 375 inch diameter main body of it, I guess. So the way this works is you want to spin this at 1000 RPM. Um, I don't know if that's a tried and true must always be type thing, but that's the way I was always taught and that's the way I use them. So I'm going to put it in, the, in a CNC tool holder, GAT40, and I'm going to spin it at 1000 RPM. Now the way you use one of these, and it's a visual guide to picking up your zeros. They're very, very accurate when you learn how to use them correctly. So essentially the way we're gonna use it is, spinning at 1000 RPM, we're gonna approach the edge of our part, and this is gonna be spinning off center like this. As soon as I see it line up, kinda of like that, I'll know that I'm very, very close. When I see it kick out again and become off center, I know that I've found my zero, or I'm about one thou past, okay? We're gonna do it in the machine, but that's the crash course. It's gonna be off center, when you find the edge, it's gonna be on center, and then all of a sudden you're gonna see it kick. And when it kicks like that, that's when we know we found our zero, okay? Let's take a look at it in the machine. So for the purposes of this, we're gonna be picking up this edge of my vice jaw. You can see I've got my edge finder in the machine here inside a tool holder. We're gonna be trying to pick up this edge. So I'm in MDI, I'm in hand jog. I'm gonna start the spindle up, MDI to 1000 RPM. There we go. So as you can see right now, see how this is spinning off center? You can see that it's wobbling. That's what we want. You don't want it too square like that because then you won't be able to see it kick. So I always give it a tap with my finger like that before I start. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my machine in handle jog and very slowly, I'm gonna approach the edge of the part. Now I'm gonna get close here so you can see it. When I get close, you're gonna see the part of the, the end of the uh, edge finder stop wiggling. See that? See how it's gotten square again? You know, it's almost concentric and it's in, in uh, the way it's spinning. As I keep going in one thou, see how it kicked? I'll go back. So right there we can see it is spinning concentrically. In about two thou here, one, two, See how it kicked out to one side like that? It may be easier to see from the other side here. I'm going to do that one more time. So you can see it. I'm going to back away from the part one more time. See how it's spinning off center. As I get closer, you'll see it go concentric. That means I'm real close. And then you're going to see it kick out to the side. Just like that. Now when that happens, that means that this is on center with the part. I, I picked up my zero, but here's the caveat. I'm gonna jog my part up. Stop the spindle here. So what that means now is that this edge is in line with this, but I don't actually have my zero yet. Like I said earlier, your tip diameter here is 200 thou. So right now, if I put this in, a, in my zero in the machine, I would actually be a hundred thou off. So instead, I wanna go back in my hand jog. I'm gonna hand jog at 100 thou over, right? Oop, oop, wrong way. Just like that. That is my zero, okay? So again, guys, this time we're gonna pick up this edge. So essentially we're making this edge or this corner of the vise my zero, my X zero and my Y zero. So let's do the same thing. You can see this is off center right now, just like we want it. I'm gonna start the spindle up to 1000 RPM, just like so. 
Same thing, I'm going to go into handle jog, and just using my Y in 1,000 increments, I'm going to start jogging towards the park. So I go ahead, you're going to see it go concentric, no, oh, wherever it is, there we go, concentric, and then you're going to see it kick, ready, one, two, three, there, it kicked. So now I know that I'm at the edge. I'm going to jog it back up and away from the, oh, I messed it up. Let's do that one more time. So we're going to go towards the part. It's going to kick. You can do that a couple times sometimes to make sure you really got that one thou increment where it should be. Let's jog it up and away from the part. Sorry, I'm doing camera with one hand here and the jog with the other. Now all we're going to do is jog at 100 thou in the direction I was going, and I'm at my zero. So right now, if I set my X zero and Y zero, this would be my origin point right here, okay? So there you have it, guys, the quick and dirty way to pick up an edge. Um, you can do, use this to pick up the edge of a part. You can use this to pick up the center of a part. So if you wanna pick up the center of a part, edge find the one side, edge find the other, go to the center, divide it by two. Um, you can pick up inside edges this way, you can pick up outside edges that way. It's probably the most fundamental skill you will learn as a machinist that never really changes. They've been doing this the same way for decades and uh, you know I don't see it changing any, anytime soon. It's nice if you have a pro, but uh, some shops like mine, we don't have probing systems, so this is the way we gotta do things. Um, the one biggest mistake I always see people make when they do this when they're first starting out is forgetting to jog half the diameter of the tip over after you pick it up. Remember, if you pick it up and you don't jog it half the diameter of that tip over, you're gonna be off by half of whatever the diameter of that tip is. You always need to jog half the diameter over so you're actually are the center, uh, sorry, you're under the center of the spindle, okay? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos and uh, leave me some comments below to let me know some videos you guys wanna see coming up. Thank you very much, guys. You have a great day.